All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Nibiru System mod, which is being made by users Baktiba and Hyperfun. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a magnificent new gas giant with a handful of moons around it, and they are pretty darn cool. So let's uh, jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. And while I am zooming out to the full extent of the system, I should mention this mod does, of course, require Copernicus to properly function. But good news, everyone! Copernicus is now available for 1.8, so you can now use this in the latest version of the game rather than downgrading to 1.7, and I am very happy to see that. Hopefully we'll see a lot more system mods being updated soon. And uh, you'll notice here we have a new highly eccentric orbital path in the mix, and that, of course, is for our new little system here of Nibiru and as we zoom in you can see the just amazing gas giant with a just beautiful ring and a good number of moons a lot of them also in crazy eccentric orbits which I very much do like so this is going to be a pretty interesting planet to get to in the first place and then also being able to get to all of its moons in say a single journey is going to require quite a lot of orbital maneuvers, so it's going to be kind of a challenging planet to get to, or system in general, and that is just fun. But let's talk about the celestial bodies we do have here, and starting with the first of them, Nibiru, the gas giant that is 4,300 kilometers in radius, with a gravity of 1.8 Gs, and of course it does have an atmosphere, but it is, well, a gas giant, so it's not one you want to visit. And it is just beautiful. I really do like the look of this thing, and with all the moons you do have and all their crazy orbits, you get a lot of really great views of the whole place, which is just Awesome. Now let's talk about the first moon for this gas giant, which is Rigelis, which is a tiny little thing, four kilometers in size, with a gravity of 0.002 Gs, and no atmosphere to speak of. And it's just a cool little uh, asteroid here, as you can see, that seems to have been caught in the gravity of this gas giant. Very colorful. Surprisingly, though, not the most colorful moon we do have here, but a fun little one to go and visit. Now, the next moon that we have is Doeg, or Doge, I'm not sure how to, I'm supposed to say that, but as you can see, it has a texture issue. Thankfully, it's the only complaint I have about this entire mod. Now, stat-wise, its radius is 7 kilometers in size, so another tiny one, gravity of 0.003 Gs, and once again, does not have an atmosphere. And as you can see here on the tracking station, we don't have those weird texture issues. And in fact, as you you're approaching the planet from far away, it's fine. It's really not until you get inside of its sphere of influence that those weird texture things seem to pop up, which is unfortunate considering, I mean, it's kind of a cool little uh, moon here. Great view of the rings. But yeah, it's just that, the, oh boy, those, those planetary or rather moon textures kind of awkward. Now let's move on to the next moon here, which is Herculeus, which is another small one. It's seven kilometers in size with a gravity of 0.002 Gs, and once again, no atmosphere. And as you can see, it is a pretty cool little rock. Lots of different surfaces all over the place to make it a difficult place to land on, and a very tiny sphere of influence. So actually, getting into an intercept with this is difficult. My ship here, or the satellite rather, is in the furthest extent of its sphere of influence, so it's very easy to just pass by this thing, and just a quick burst the engine, frankly, on this, and and I would once again be orbiting the gas giant rather than this tiny little rock. But a fun, difficult little one to uh, get to. A nice little challenge. So then on to the next moon we have... Idiop. 
which is the most colorful moon and 13 kilometers in size with a gravity of 0.0063 G's with no atmosphere present. And I think of the moons, this is my favorite. I mean, the gas giant still wins. But this one has another cool orbital path giving you some great views of the ring and the planet. And it's just such a unique shape. It's not spherical. It's not a lumpy rock. It's just pure chaos and I love it plus it's colorful and that's pretty darn nice and uh, yeah just overall another cool moon now the next one that we do have is Cherenkov which for some reason I have a hard time pronouncing this one I keep wanting to say some other pronunciation, but its radius is 115 kilometers in size with a gravity of 0.163 G's with no atmosphere to speak of. And you can see here it's a pretty just normal moon. It has kind of an interesting crease here that reminds me of a peach, but all in all a fun little place to visit. Some interesting texturing there. Uh, some odd banding in it, but eh, not really a deal breaker. And we then have the final of the moons, which is Tanatus, a very orangey red world, which is pretty large at 530 kilometers in size with a gravity of 0.946 Gs, almost Kerbin like, and with a very thin oxygenated atmosphere. So it, it's, a, you know, a breathable place for you to go and visit. Just very, very red. When I first saw this moon, I, I thought uh, that it maybe it was like a lava world or something, but no, no, it's just all terrestrial rock and just just has a very orangey yellow atmosphere and a very red red soil to it but yeah a very fun little moon on the far extent of the uh system here but again some glorious views looking back in on it and just a nice planet nearly the same size as a carbon so very fun a very nice indeed in fact all of the planets or well the planet and all the moons are just wonderful. I really do like them. The one exception of the weird textured one over there. But other than that, they're pretty nice. Let's go to my Viewmatic Survey Satellite and take a look at this in the world itself. And yeah, just the cool views of this rock that we got there. Very close in. I mean, look at the topography on that place. It is a very interesting place to actually go and visit. And of course we have the glorious gas giant and just the beautiful rings around the whole place. It is a pretty cool little system with a lovely planet and some pretty darn cool moons. A difficult, uh, challenging-ish kind of place to go and visit, but a fun one with a lot of cool things to see. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.